Hi, I'm Greg Perkins. I'm a 3D artist in the entertainment industry. I've produced this tutorial for Mold 3D, which will show you how to create a mold and cast of your 3D print. There are many ways to do this, but this is how I create my castings. Alright, let's get started. It all starts with a sketch. I've always wanted a Wacom pen holder that has tentacles, so I'm going to be making one of those. It's important to think about the casting process as early on as the design stage. With all these overhanging areas, we could run into some problems trying to pull our print out of the mold. I decided to make a new design with no overhanging areas and a flat base. A design like this would come straight up. Time to model the creature. I use Maya to create the base mesh and get the measurements, and ZBrush to sculpt the model. With that done, I take it into Preform, our 3D printing software. Here is the pipeline. We scale it, orient it, generate the supports, lay it out, and send it to the printer. Now we wait for our 3D print. Okay, we have our 3D print. So what I do next is spray it with primer. We don't want our molding material forming a bond with the print. We need to sit our 3D print on a flat surface. We need a cup with the top cut off it, and we'll need to tape it to that surface with the print inside. Spray the inside of your cup with mold release. This will allow you to remove your 3D print with ease later on. For the moulding material, I like to use Umu 30 because it's nice and flexible. It's basically a two-part moulding material that works great for our one-piece mould. Mix the two parts together, pour it into your cup and let it surround the model. Up to seven hours we can remove it from the mould. Here's the fun part, making the casting. I like to use Smoothcast 325 and to add some colour pigment, So Strong Orange. Add one or two drops of the colour pigment. Spray the mould with mould release. Mix your two part resin together. And pour it into the mould. Now all we do is wait 10 minutes for it to harden and we have an exact copy of our print. The beauty of this is that it will only take 10 minutes from now on, so casting your 3D print is also time effective for manufacturing a small run. Here is the final product. This tentacle Wacom pen holder will be available on the Farfetch Creations website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.